Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome back to the photo report. Here with Sarah Byrne out at Field Trip. Um, can you just tell them who you are? Hi. I'm Sarah Byrne. Uh, most people know me as Sarah K. Byrne. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm a wedding photographer based in Portland, Oregon. Nice. And I'm going into my sixth year of shooting full time. Beautiful. Yeah. And how did you walk into the wedding photography world? Ooh, yeah, it's like not like that interesting of a story. I feel like it's such a classic tale of like, I went to college and I got a marketing degree and after school I got this like horrible job where I was just putting data into Excel like for eight hours a day. And uh, I was like super bored and I would get to work and like fall asleep for two hours before I did anything. And the classic story, right? Um, I was a horrible employee. Um, but anyway, it was one of those things where I just hated it so much and I um, had been doing photography just at kind of barely for fun on the side before that. And all my college like extracurriculars, is that what you call it? Were all photography or art based things. And I should have seen it then, like knowing like that's what I really wanted to right. do. But it, like back then, like I didn't even know wedding photography was a job. Like yeah. I didn't know that that was something you could do. Um, but so anyway, after college got that job and I got at like two years in, I was like, I felt like I was completely just losing myself and every bit of creativity that I had was slowly just seeping out of me because I had been doing just this data entry and it was, I couldn't see myself doing it anymore. I was just going to like die. Yeah. Like, so a slow, 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 painful death of just monotony. Anyway, so I bought uh, my first like DSLR camera. It was super scary because it was a lot of money for me at yeah. the time. Um, and I just started taking photos of anything I could, anything and everything like bugs, food, people, like anyone who would let me take a photo of them, I would absolutely do it. And I asked every single person that I knew. Um, and it was that from there, it just kind of spurred naturally. We're posting some things online, which is also super scary when you start out. Um, people just said, hey, I see you take some photos. Want to take photos at my wedding? I was like, yeah. And then I was like, oh my God, that's terrifying because right. it's a wedding. You know, in your head, before you shoot a wedding for the first time, I remember thinking, oh my God, what if I don't get that kiss shot? Yeah. And, <laughs> and then you realize like, oh, that's the easiest shot to get because totally. everyone's standing still like this for so and long. It's coming. And you know it's coming. But um, I don't really know if I answered your question, but yeah. that's how I got into it. <laughs> and then how did it go from starting to shoot weddings, starting to shoot everything you shot to uh -huh. then really figuring out um, who you were as a photographer and what you love shooting. Yeah, so I grew up, yeah, process. yeah, it is. Um, I grew up in Idaho. Um, a lot of people don't know where that is, but it is, <laughs> it is actually a mount, very mountainous state. And um, yeah, it's, it can be very pretty. There are parts of it that are like, the, the bottom half of it is super deserty and the top half is just all trees and mountains. And so when I started shooting weddings there, I was shooting like in ballrooms and I was like, I don't, there's like mountains though. Right. And I really loved being in nature because I grew up in it and went camping and like swimming and fishing. And, yeah. you know, that was just like what you did on the weekends. And so it was like a weird thing for me thinking like there's people who are getting married like in ballrooms, but there's all this other stuff around us that we yeah. could be taking um, advantage of. And so uh, I wanted to focus on being in nature and I kind of feel bad because it it's like now it's like such a popular thing to do is yeah. like go hike up into the mountains um and but i i still like kind of stand by it it's so beautiful and and um a lot of my clients now are, are people who come in from places that they just don't have the opportunity to see like beautiful things like mountains and forests and waterfalls and um and i get to they come in from the midwest and i get to like take them to a spot where they're like so blown away and um and i just document them there yeah amazing so. um and then what what are things that you feel like in the process of getting there and then starting to do what you like what are decisions that you've made sort of within your business that you feel like have either brought you to where you are or have really changed the course of things for you I mean, I know I have, I have people ask me this a lot. Like, what was your point where you're yeah. like, that's, you make it now. Or right. like, what's, what was that turning point where you feel like that really changed your direction? And 
there's like there's a few things that I feel like I was involved with early on. Um, for example, I got involved with the film show. Uh -huh. um, it was this kind of online photography thing based on film and and uh, and it was just reaching out and being like, hey, I want to be a part of this. Yeah. Like whatever part I can be. Jonas and Brian. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Muirhead and like Tanya Lippert were the first season. Yeah. Like it happened to be based in Idaho, which was like very convenient. Right. Um, so got to be a part of that. Um, and I mean, really, to be honest, like most of it is just about like making connections with other people who are also so like-minded and want the same things are going to help push you forward and you're going to do the same thing for them. Um, for me, it's all been about people and connection and, and like kind of everyone moving forward in the industry yeah. at the same time. Um, we were, I was part of this like Flickr group back when I first started called SWPB and um, it's this, I don't know if you heard, have you heard of it? So it's this Flickr group like five years ago that everybody was on uh, Jonas and Benj yeah. and Dan O'Day and we were all on it and we were all kind of like still pretty early on and it was like this motivation of people from around the world yeah. like kind of just pushing each other to be to be better that's so amazing. yeah um, community then, that's yeah. really for me like and being part of field trip and all all the community here I, I think it's so important I hope people take away a lot of relationships and yeah from that. what are, what are like within that how do you feel like um you've used community to i guess build who you are oh man i mean the uh, like being a part of of any of these events like just immerses yourself into it and makes you want to be better yeah i guess Stay more fresh. than anything and it makes you like you see someone else doing something you're like they're doing something, I need to do something. And then like that cycle kind of continues where they see you do something, then they want to do something. It just kind of pushes everybody forward. Um, I mean, sp like specifically things yeah. that I've done. Uh, so I don't know, for instance, like uh, I did this thing that got me a lot of like press within the photography uh -huh. realm of, well, I mean, yeah, I guess photography realm. Uh, I did this tutorial on double exposures and like no one asked me to do it. Like no one was like, hey, Sarah, do this tutorial and go like put it out there for people to yeah. do. It was just kind of like taking action and being like, there's, there's this thing that is really cool and I know how to do it and it's really confusing. So I want to make a tutorial about it. And it got like, it went through like all the photo, all the popular photo blogs and it got me a lot of, like, I mean, it's probably like one of the reasons why I speak at events. It's yeah. got me popularity, yeah. I guess. But crazy. Yeah. Was that a video demonstration? Yeah. Yeah. So it was a, it was a in-camera double exposure tutorial for the 5D Mark III. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fun. I will look that up and tag it in the. Oh, in the cool. Notes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was like three years ago. So, yeah. but. I'm sure it's still live <laughs> on the internet. Yeah. It's still there. Yeah. And do you do personal work, personal projects outside of weddings? Uh, yeah. I mean. I, this year, <laughs> this year was kind of like a personal year for me. Yeah. Um, I went, I went through a lot this year, but, um, so I'm kind of just rebuilding myself as a photographer and as a person yeah. at the moment. So I'm like kind of trying to figure out what my next project is for me. Yeah. But I'm, I'm definitely like looking for something that, um, that I can like draw meaning out of and, and feeling out of and, and because I, I went through a lot this year with my friends and my family, I want, I feel like I want to do something with them. Like I, I've been thinking a lot about, I've, I've been told a couple of friends this already and I just haven't done it. It's one of those things like yeah. you have to fucking yeah. take action and do something. But I want to, I want to spend like a day with each, each of the people that mean something to me in my life and just um, like a very calm day with them and, and uh, document them. Just but, them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been, kicking myself for not shooting my kids enough and I've got really yeah. few kids and yeah. it's too easy to not do that sort of it stuff. is it is and I'm going to see my grandparents like who live in Florida so it's like I don't get to go out there very often and I'm like so set on photographing them no matter yeah. what it is even if it's not like cool like it's so important to me to, to have photos of, of them and and it would mean a lot to them too so yeah what do you do for just sort of refueling your creative self you know because it's easy to just get caught up in oh, shooting yeah. weddings, shooting more weddings. Emails. And, and yeah, totally, <laughs> the business side of yeah. things. And, and I think where community is so huge is being able to have 
just gets out outside of your own head. Yeah. And maybe either have someone critique you or help you out. But do you do anything even, it could be non-photography related? To I mean, I, I spend so much time with the people that I care about. Yeah. And like most of them are creatives and, and we kind of still have that like push each other forward. And we have these like long, deep talks about what the meaning of life is and why are we here? And, and that sort of thing like really inspires me to like want to do something. Um, but I, because I, I'm, I left this part out, but I moved to Portland um, a couple of years ago because I wanted to be in a place that was like even more nature based and like access to the ocean and access to uh, mountains and waterfalls. And uh, I, I go out in nature as much as possible with my friends and just spend time there and not like in a, I'm going to go take photos way. And uh, I just want to be there way. And I've been focusing more and more on trying to be present in situations um, and being present around people. And, you know, it, I don't know. I think it's really easy right now to get so lost and caught up on like your phone and, yeah. and the digital world that you can just like live your life through that. And I've just, I've never been a very good person at being online anyway. So uh, being present and just living in the moment is what I kind of try and do as much no, as possible. No, it's huge. It's huge. Like it's sad. I, I was just out to dinner um, with my father-in-law and my kids and we, the table behind us, literally the mom and dad, they had two young kids. Mm -hmm. They never looked at each other. They never looked at the kids. They were mm. on their phones the whole time. And just like, I think that's... Breaks your heart. Yeah. You know, it's like, what is that going to do to our generations? And it's crazy. Yeah. I feel like we're almost like the last generation that like had physical interaction yeah. with each other. Like growing up, um, listening to, I listened to this podcast on, I don't know, on NPR about, um, like these kids in high school and how they interact with each other now it's so strange like um one of them like these group of girls were talking about how one of them will post a photo on instagram and if like a certain number of their friends don't like it like they're like oh why didn't jenny like my photo she must be mad at me like and then it's just this weird dynamic and i'm like i i feel like an old person being like i don't understand kids these Can days you imagine being a girl <laughs> in high school with Facebook, no, Instagram. I can't. Think, think you, we get FOMO as an adult, like yeah. not going to a party, but think of like being, seeing all your friends out at parties and not being invited and that whole like, that's crazy. Yeah. It's just like barely that whole MySpace thing, like barely started when I was in yeah. high school and I didn't have a phone or anything then. Yeah. So I don't know, like I can't, I can't imagine it. I don't know what it's going to be like in 20 years, but. Wow. But hey, <laughs> thanks so much for your time. Yeah. Where, where can people look up your work? Uh, uh, Sarah K. Burn is pretty much everything on Instagram and my website is just sarahkburn.com. Um, I spell my name really weird, so I'm guessing maybe you spell can put it. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's Sarah without an H, K, and then Burn, B Y R N E. So it's spelled the Irish way. Yeah. yeah. Good old Irish. Well, hey, yep. thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, yeah, fun hanging out. Yay. <laughs>